is up, all you amazing cats, on my page, Mike at 90percent.com. If you haven't been to the page yet, give me a like on Facebook if you can. All things motivation, inspiration, perspiration, deep yoga, gluten free, weight loss, healthy living zone that you could ask for. Um, so, all my friends on Mike at 90percent.com and on my team. Yoga website, um, teamdpyoga.com. You can find me on there at Mike Mullins. Um, anyways, just checking in with you guys real quick. Wanted to do a quick update because I gotta be honest with you. I uh, had Katie's parents over, my girlfriend Katie's parents, my parents, and her grandparents over yesterday for like a Saturday weekend dinner type thing. And while still I would have done a lot worse previously, I didn't partake in the whole giant thing of uh, Kahlua cake my mom made um, and I did make some choices that I was proud of in the grand scheme of things I didn't do so awesome I went into it with a plan um, on how to control my eating and my uh, my urges if you will and that plan wasn't executed to perfection as I had hoped and wished for so that being said I just want to let you guys know real quick there's two different ways to handle a situation like that and uh, the way I handled it was, obviously, I started binge drinking and partaking in recreational drugs um, for the past 48 hours. So I am completely a mess. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> anyways, ah, uh, that was a bad joke. Um, there's two ways to look at this thing. A lot of people, when they have a bad meal or a bad day like that, figure that they've blown everything for the day. So they might as well blow it for the rest of the day. And then after that day, it's, a, oh, I've had a bad weekend. Might as well just get back on track after the weekend. And the weekend turns into a week, which turns into a month, which turns into two months, which turns into completely undoing all the good you've done. So that being said, I had a bad meal. Screw it. You know what? It's over with. It's done with. I'm not going to get back on tomorrow. I'm not going to get back on Thursday or Friday or next Monday for my way in. I'm going to get back on track tonight. The day... As soon as that meal is over, it's done with. I just want to talk to you guys real quick. As an overweight person, I have impulses in my brain that somebody who doesn't have problems with their food wouldn't have. And those impulses don't go away. Just because I've done been successful and lost all this weight, just because I'm killing my DDP yoga workouts, just because I'm going to Weight Watcher meetings and eating gluten-free, I still have that mind, that fat person mind. And it doesn't go away. It's never going to go away. I'm never going to be completely cured. I'm never going to see a piece of chocolate cake and not want it. But with those programs, they aren't a cure-all. People think that when they join Weight Watchers or when they start eating gluten-free or when they start doing DDP yoga, that you're cured. You don't have those impulses for those eatings anymore, eating that crap anymore. But that couldn't be more than uh, not true. The difference is, is you learn the life skills and the tools to combat combat those problems, combat those issues, and sometimes you have victories, and sometimes you have defeats, and I gotta tell you, since I've lost weight, I've had more defeats than anybody, I know, I mean, I'm right there with you, if you've had a bad week, I've had them too, and those weeks don't go away when you start losing weight, but the big issue is, just keep coming back, I tell this to everybody who asks me on Team DDP Yoga, how have you been successful on this program? It's keep coming back. You can have a bad week, a bad two weeks, a bad three weeks, a bad four weeks, as long as you come back. Because a lot of people have a, have a tendency when they go through a rough patch is to disappear and not face that issue and not face those people that are supporting them. When in all reality, when you're having a tough week or a tough month, those people are going to be what pulls you through and brings you back into reality and back into the moment and help you realize that your goals and the things you want out of life are within your grasp. So that is my biggest advice for you. If you've had a bad meal, it's a bad meal. It's not a bad week. It's not a bad two weeks. And if it is a bad two weeks, don't go away. Just keep coming back. Surround yourself with the people that are going to help you and help you be successful. And just remind yourself of your goals at all times. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of advice. Because for Katie, my girlfriend, this doesn't work. But it works for me. And I've told Katie this, and she's kind of like my weight loss buddy. She's my girlfriend and the love of my life, but she's my weight loss buddy. Because if I'm about to indulge in something like that's not good for me, 
I have Katie come up to me, whether she's eating it or not eating it, and she says to me, she goes, do you really want that? Those three simple words, do you, not three, do you really want that? Five simple words. And it may sound ridiculous, but it makes me stop in my tracks. And when I actually think about it and picture myself stepping on the scale on Monday night, and when I finally picture myself at my goal weight, being healthy and happy, and realizing all the things I've, I've, I've accomplished and all the things I still want to accomplish, that brief second, that five words that broke up my going from thinking about it to eating and made me think, oftentimes deters me away from making that poor decision. So have a weight loss buddy. It's not always what you want to hear when you're about to eat a piece of chocolate cake and someone says, do you really want that? A lot of people will get pissed off. Katie hates that when I say it. She wants to be able to deal with it herself. But I need that few seconds to actually think about what I'm doing. So that's my goal for you guys right now. Just stop, think. If you make a bad choice, it's over with. It's over the second you finish that last bite. It's not a weekend. It's not a week. It's not a day. It's not a month. It's not a year. It's over when you finish that last bite. Just keep moving forward. We're all going to have bad meals. We have that fat cell in our brain. We have that overweight cell in our brain. It's always going to be a problem for us. We learn how to combat those problems with the life skills we learn from these programs. So thank you guys so much for watching. Mike at 90percent.com, teamddpyoga.com. I hope you guys are well. Keep moving forward. We're in this together. And like I like to tell people, I put this website out not because I know it all, not because I'm trying to act like I'm better than you or I know more things than you. I'm just sharing what works for me. We're all in this together. We all share with each other, and we all take little things from each person. So I hope you guys are well, and uh, give it to me one more time. Come on now. Bye. Peace. Mike at 90%.com. Like me on Facebook. Thanks, guys.